Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing an Arch Linux VM in Proxmox. To get started, navigate to archlinux.org and download the latest installation ISO. With the installation ISO in hand, open a web browser and navigate to the Proxmox web UI and get logged in. Expand the Proxmox node name in the left navigation menu. Then select the target storage device where we're going to upload the ISO. Select ISO images, upload, then select file and browse to and select the Arch Linux ISO. Then click upload. Once the upload completes successfully, close the dialog window. Then right click the Proxmox node name and select create VM. Give the VM a unique ID and name, then click next. Select the Arch Linux installation ISO, then click next. Leave the defaults on the system tab then click Next. Set the target storage device for the virtual disk and set the disk size to at least 30 gigabytes. then click Next. Set CPU cores to two or more and the type to host, then click Next. Set memory to 4096 or four gigabytes, then click Next. Leave the defaults on the network tab, then click Next. Review the summary, then click Finish to create the VM. Once the VM is created, select it from the left navigation, then click Start at the top right of the screen and console so we can see the visual output. Press enter at the boot menu to select Arch Linux install medium. We'll start by running fdisk-l to list the storage devices attached to the VM. Then we'll use fdisk to create partitions on the dev SDA device. We'll start by creating a root partition that takes the bulk of the QMU hard disk. Then we'll create a second partition to be used for swap. With the two partitions created, we'll write them to the disk. Now if we run fdisk-l, we'll see the two partitions we created on the dev SDA device. Next, we'll format the dev SDA1 partition to the ext4 file system. And similarly, we'll format the dev SDA2 partition as swap. Next, we'll mount the dev SDA1 partition to slash mount and enable the dev sda2 swap partition. Then we'll use the pack strap command targeted at the dev sda1 mount point to install the Arch Linux base system files. With the base system files installed, we'll generate an fs tab file for the mounted dev sda1 device. Then we'll use chroot to change over to our mounted dev sda1 root file system. We'll set our hostname by echoing it to an etsy hostname file. Then using pacman, we'll install the grub bootloader. We'll run grub install slash dev slash sda, then grub make config, then we'll use pacman to install gnome, network manager, and the qmu guest agent packages. Once the packages are installed successfully, we'll enable the GDM and Network Manager services. Next we'll use passwd to enter and confirm a password for the root user account. Now we'll exit the chroot environment and shut down the VM. Back in the Proxmox web UI, select Hardware, then double click the CD DVD drive and select Do Not Use Any Media and click OK. Then select Options and double click the QMU Guest Agent option, check the box to enable it, then click OK. Start the VM and go back to the console. Once you reach a login screen, log in with the username root and the password set with the passwd command. Welcome to Arch Linux, running virtualize as a Proxmox VM.